and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, we, I think, are going to take on the Elite Four again. We don't have to. This is entirely optional, um, but I feel like it's a good in-between episode and gives me a good stopping point and something to do uh, because as ever, as I'm sure you've noticed, I'm sorry for the postponement in the uh, finale of the, epi of, the, of the Nuzlocke. We're so close to fighting Red. Uh, I must stress, Red has level 80 plus Pokemon. At our current levels, we would get wrecked. It wouldn't even be close. And even to stand, even if we have appropriately level Pokemon, it's going to be really hard. His highest level Pokemon is level 88. It is insane. Um, so I feel like the Elite Four, good, good, just just good fun to fight again, right? Uh, seems like possibly needlessly dangerous at the same time. Like. Okay, last time all six members survived. Can we possibly hope for that again? You'd hope so. However, if we want to play by the same rules we did last time and only go with the highest level of the final Elite Four member and not Lance himself, it means that uh, Lance will have, I think the, I think Karen's final best Pokemon is like 65 and Lance's ace is 75. So it's tricky to say the least. Uh, Either way, I feel like mid 60s is a good place to uh, land heading into the Elite Four, if not just outright 65. However, even just grinding to that could take a while. So I will be, I want to be honest with you guys. I have taken some liberties um, that are perhaps a little rule bending on the Nuzlocke side of things. I will say that. Um, but I, I feel like you, it, it doesn't really make a difference, namely what we did, um, whoops, not deposit Pokemon. Let me move, let me go over here. Look, look what we did. I went and I caught a bunch of Blissies. I found a really great place to grind where mainly what you run into are Blissies, which is great because they are just um, experience uh, they're like highly concentrated experience. You get a ton of experience for knocking out a Blissey. So it's a really great spot to train. The other cool thing about Blissey though, is that they have an opportunity to be holding a lucky egg, which is awesome. They also have an opportunity to be holding an oval stone. Now, if we had a Pokemon with Thief, it would be great because we could have just used Thief on a bunch of different Blisseys until we eventually found a lucky egg. Uh, which they don't have a tremendous uh, chance to be holding to begin with, but hey, eventually we could have gotten there. Uh, instead, I did what I did was I went and I evolved. Uh, what's his butt? Where is it? Oh, that's our dead box. I I swear. This just happened. Where did it go? I am like blind right now. Did it get put in the God box for some reason? No, I mean, it could have, right? That would have been fine. Here it is, duh. Okay, so I evolved Pi from uh, up to Butterfree. That gave us the ability Compound Eyes. Compound Eyes, if Butterfree is at the front of your lineup, doubles the opportunity for your uh, the wild Pokemon you run into to be holding an item. So I did that. We got lucky because they might not get compound eyes, but Pi did. Pi was very useful, doubling the chances of the Blissies we were running into getting them. Now where it gets a little tricky and rule bendy is that obviously we shouldn't have been able to allow to catch this many Blissies because you could only catch the one thing you run into. However, I will say this. Uh, I did get a lucky egg and at this point, at this point, the only thing standing in our way between us and the finale is grinding. And to that end, it's just a matter of time, realistically, right? So since I have limited time in making this show and because it's already gonna take forever to grind up there, I felt like it was in everyone's best interest to just go ahead and get the lucky egg. So 
here we are. Here's all the blissies I caught. It took a hot minute. We can't use the blissies at all, but I got the lucky egg solely for grinding purposes, solely to save time. It's the sort of thing that the act of getting it was not easy because let me tell you, catching blissies, that's the other fun part. Not only, this was, this was such a journey. Not only do they have to be holding the lucky egg, you have to be able to catch it. And they're not easy to catch because they, uh, that's, that's like part of their thing. They have a very low catch rate. So we used quick balls to catch a lot of different ones. And then this is where it got extra, extra annoying. If we didn't catch it with a quick ball, we had to try for an ultra ball, meaning that we had to, uh, you know, lower its health and try and catch it like a regular Pokemon. Uh, that was challenging because uh, it also has Sing, which means you get, lose a lot of turns just waiting to wake up so you can damage it again. That was frustrating. Then on top of that, this is this was infuriating, infuriating. The Blissies we're fighting know the move Fling. And if you don't know what Fling does, it throws your held item at your opponent. It throws it at them and does damage based on what the item is. Now, I can't I cannot tell you how many times I buried my face in absolute frustration where I would miss a catch and then Blissey would use Fling and throw the lucky egg at me at me, you guys. I would finally find one that had it and it would throw it at me. And I thought, I thought maybe, maybe that just means it can't use fling again. And if I catch it, I'll still get the egg. No, no. If they use fling on the lucky egg, it's gone. And it happened at least three times. <laughs> and I was, oh my gosh, I can't even, it, it was, it was terrible. So that was my journey. I am sorry if you feel like that was any sort of rule breaking. In the end, I think it took me a little, <clears throat> it probably took me about half an hour's worth of absolute frustration, if not longer, to, uh, you know, evolve Butterfree, fly back and forth, get all the, it, it, in the end, I think it cost me about an hour of time, but I think it's gonna save me upwards of five to six hours of time in terms of grinding. And I mean that, it is, it is slow. Um, the good news is, though, now we have the Lucky Egg, so we can grind. Um, and what, if you don't know what a Lucky Egg does, it gives you double experience, uh, per battle. So, it goes a lot faster. So the good news is, we have a Lucky Egg, we can get the double experience, we can grind way faster, and we can fight Blissies, so that we get lots of experience per battle. Uh, the lucky spot is right here, inside the Mount Silver Cave, right on the water. We surf over here. Kaboom, kablam, watch, I bet we run into a Blissey. Bam, there it is. And now we can just knock it out and you can see the lucky egg in action. Ice is holding it right now. Ba -ba 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 boom, 1912. So I will say I also, you may notice that the team is a little bit higher level than last you saw them. That is because I have done some grinding off screen just because I honestly, I again, it's just gonna take a long time. And it's a ton of footage to just be uh, hoarding those files around. And it's just kind of boring. That said, we started getting close to some stuff happening here. So I thought now would be a good time. I had some updates to give you. I will record this grinding session. I know some of you like to like to go frame by frame and see everything I fought in a grinding session. Sorry, you will not be able to get the full 100% data set on this. But um, in any case, in any case, this is where we're at. We are ready to grind. Uh, we are going to get everyone into the like six, the, hopefully around 65. Kimberly broke 60. First there. Markle, very close to evolving. Uh, very excited about that. And then we shall venture forth to the Elite Four again. Um, and we'll see how we do. Hopefully really well. And then uh, we'll be that much closer to fighting Red. In the meantime, enjoy the music. Here we go. The Dragonite is back, you guys. Marco has evolved. Wants to learn wing attack. <clears throat> Let's see. Should we? We are very specially 
attack, so that does 100, this does 60. I don't think wing attack does as many favors, although maybe it's better than safeguard? I don't even know, safeguard seems useful. Although let's, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get rid of safeguard. More coverage, why not? There we go, wing attack, that might not have been the dumb move. I don't know, anyway, uh, that was exciting. And now, back to grinding. Okay, you guys. Oh my goodness. The grinding is finally over. As you can see, I am in a new shirt. It took me a while. I mean, it took me a good uh, two hours this morning, in addition to the other grinding I've done, to get everyone up to level 65. That's with the lucky egg and with people being able to use the turbo function of the emulator. So, man, I just, it, uh, and being able to just grind on blissies, which was super nice. Um, so, lots, lots of work gotten done. And let me run you through, let me give you a quick rundown of all the things on the team. I, I feel like it's been one hot second since maybe, uh, since, I know, I know it took me a while to get here, but here we go. Rutana. Uh, only real change here is that I decided to give Rutana Reflect heading in here because uh, I could have gone Reflect, I could have gone Light Screen, it was really just a coin flip, I went with Reflect, I felt like um, that was the way to go. Uh, but I replaced Future Sight just because I was being honest with myself, I've rarely used it and honestly I think Reflect is just the better option if we can like set it up early and sometime in uh, any fight, it's just, it's good for the entire team, it raises the defense of the entire team, so. That's fantastic. Uh, gave Rutana the leftovers back. As you saw, Markle evolved. You can see the uh, ability inner focus, so we can't be flinched, probably worth remembering. Uh, we picked up wing attack. So it's possible we could give Markle um, fly as well. I kind of like wing attack here just because it is 100% accuracy and it hits that turn. Uh, so that's that's the advantage of wing attack over fly. Um, we also have thunder wave for status conditions. I think that's really good. And we picked up the move outrage. So something that was interesting is that when Markle evolved, um, their their beforehand their special attack was higher, and upon evolving, their attack jumped massive and is now even higher. So we picked up Outrage, which is a physical dragon type move. It is 120 damage and has 100% accuracy. So it is insanely powerful. Um, the only drawback is that after a questionable two or three turns, uh, Marco will become confused at which point we probably have to switch out, but that's okay. We have plenty of good switch outs. Uh, who is next on the docket here? We've got Ice, the Magmore Tar, the literal cannon for an arm, holding the leftovers. Uh, the only update here is that I finally got rid of smoke screen in favor, in favor, <laughs> excuse me, of fire blast. As you can see, uh, Ice's real strength at 206 up there is the special attack. Uh, Ice. And Fire Blast is the strongest fire type move. It is special. It felt only fitting. Uh, of course, we have Lava Plume in there for a much more consistent, reliable attack that can also burn. I mean, I suppose this can also burn, but Lava Plume, probably the attack we're gonna use the most just because it hits for uh, 80 and is 100% accurate. Faint Attack, also good to remember, cannot miss. Uh, and I chose to get rid of Smokescreen instead of Confuse Ray because Smokescreen lowers their accuracy, I think. Um, the Confuse Ray gives you a coin flip, a 50-50 chance, whereas you need several Smokescreens for their accuracy to drop to a 50-50 shot. So Confuse Ray seemed better, plus it could damage them. Uh, went with that. Uh, nothing new at all on Kimberly other than the level. Very powerful, as always, look at that attack stat. Look at that attack stat, so very physical attacking. Um, and we have <clears throat> the Yachi Berry, which I also gave to Markle. The Yachi Berry um, weakens the power of an incoming ice type attack, so it's come in handy before. Uh, Kimberly and Markle are both four times weak to ice, so we do not want to see ice. If we do, hopefully we can fight the ice with ice. Um, fire is, of course, strong against ice. The issue is that most ice types are also water types, and water types are good against fire types. Um, 
And we don't really have a great electric attack on the team at all, or a grass attack. So water types are tricky. Other than that, we do resist them um, with all three dragons. That said, um, if they're a water ice type, then we're pretty much looking at plant uh, to come in and try and do some damage. If not, I mean, we could also have uh, Lord Vanilla come in. Lord Vanilla Rock is good against ice as well, so that's another possible option. Uh, different possible different uh, moves here. We have uh, Rock Climb I added on. So we had Slash, and then we were able to learn the move um, Ring Out, which when I was reading it, it described it as a special type move, but it looked like it was gonna be mostly just like based on, it was like HP, ver like the amount of HP they had remaining versus total HP they had. So it looked like it was based more like on math rather than on your special attack, but I replaced Slash with that and then tried Ring Out a few times and it was not good. So. I decided to go ahead and give Lord Vanilla Rock Climb because it is a physical type attack. It has pretty high uh, accuracy. Well, 85, I mean, it's okay. Pretty high power anyway. We probably won't end up using that much, but it can confuse your foes and someone's gonna need Rock Climb anyway uh, for when we eventually go try and fight Red. So sort of an inevitability. And finally, we have Plant who picked up Dragon Rush. Very powerful, uh, other dragon, physical dragon type move. Um, its power is 100 and its accuracy is 75, so it's less accurate than Outrage, it, but it will not confuse you and it might make them flinch. So ups and downs on that, um, but there you go. That is the final team as it were. Everyone's holding leftovers except Markle and Kimberly. Oh my goodness, I was actually, I was looking, oh, there's the Alga. This is a great omen, right? Um, rearing its ugly head. Let's just show Dialga the power of doors. Hi there, what's up? Okay, going back inside. Um, I was looking at uh, the, the Elite Four to just sort of see like what the, the levels will be up against here. So like right out of the gate, uh, we're all level 65. And I will be honest, actually, I for whatever reason, I thought Karen's highest level was 65. It's actually 64, so we might have gone a little overboard. But I think, honestly, by the time we got to Karen, we'd have been at 65s anyway, and we would have been allowed to start at 64. So I'm not really that concerned about it, uh, especially because Lance will have a level... Uh, every Everything on Lance's team will be 68 or higher, right? So... <laughs> His weakest is 68, but hilariously, when you if this wasn't a randomizer, on Lance's team uh, is a Salamence and a Garchomp and a Dragonite, which is what's on our team. So we are very much acting like the champion uh, normally would in this game because typically the champion is Lance and now we have defeated them and we actually have three of the same dragons he typically would be using. His other Pokemon are normally Charizard, Altaria, and Gyarados. Uh, so Charizard-wise, we also have Ice and um, Gyarados-wise, we have Lord Vanilla for our water type. Um, and then uh, Rutana and Altaria obviously don't match up very much at, what, at all, except that Altaria is kind of bulky and Rutana is of course the guardian. So there you go. The question is, who should we lead with? Um, if we go with Rutana, we can set up Reflect. So there's that. That's a nice one. Plus we can U-turn out, which is good. Um, that's a good possible setup, depending on what they have. Kimberly throws the Intimidate. Markle gives us the ability to uh, Thunder Wave. I think I want to lead with Rutana though, because I love the idea of setting up the Reflect early, depending on what they've got. Of course, we have no idea other than everything will be fully evolved. These will be some of the hardest fights we have ever had at all. Bear none. Each fight we have will be the new hardest fight we've ever had in the game. We have to do five in a row. So obviously we're gonna need uh, a lot of full restores. We have seven in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and buy like, oh, Okay, uh, I guess that's as much money as I have. Um, I guess, right? We'll get a lot of money when we fight them. So there's really no reason not to just go, <laughs> not to go all in, right? Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> wasted a lot of money on Pokeballs trying to catch the Blissies so that we could have the Lucky Egg. Uh, anyway, oh gosh. 
Now, now we're like finally here. I've been preparing for it for so long, and now we're finally here. Rutana, are you ready? Rutana nodded slowly. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Man, oh, this is gonna be so difficult. This is gonna be so difficult. Even the very first fight, the first one might not be that bad. We should be higher level than all of Will's Pokemon. His highest level is gonna be a 62. So we should at least have a level advantage uh, going in. Well, we should have a level advantage on everyone. At least, barely, but nonetheless, it's gonna be very difficult uh, until we get to Lance. Lance is, of course, gonna be insanely difficult. So, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. But without any further ado, let's head into the Elite Four. Be courageous and go for it. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Here we go again. Ugh. Let's go! Welcome. Home. Allow me to, I know who you are. Don't disrespect me, Will. I already beat you once. I am the champion. Do not, oh my gosh. That is such disrespect, such disrespect. I guess they all have six Pokemon now. Ow. Oh, and he leads with the Togekiss. Our hated foe, the Togekiss that has launched its stupid Aura Spheres at us the whole game. We know that Togekiss in particular is a special attacker and that Aura Sphere is strong. However, Aura Sphere is not a concern of us with Rutana because Rutana resists fighting type moves, you dumb bird. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Reflect, why not? Who knows what this thing's gonna use? Air Slash, we laugh it off. We laugh it off, we don't laugh it off. It did damage and it has a high critical hit percentage. Um, so we don't like that, crits are bad. But we're gonna start, we're gonna go with the Psychic here. Ready, let's see it. Togekiss, oh gosh, what was that? What did it do? I didn't even see what it did. That made me very nervous. I don't like it. Um, I know it to have, we're gonna go for another Psychic. What did it do? Sky Attack, oh, okay, that is strong. But we should be okay with the Reflect Up, I would think. Oh, ho, ho. Rutana laughs it off, y'all. Laughs it off, we're gonna go on another, ah. Uh, I have a feeling he's gonna go for the, um, for the full restore here. And we can't shadow ball it because it's a normal type, so we don't want to waste that. All we can do is keep using Psychic. Um, let's go for it. Yep, he's gonna use his full restore, so we're gonna get that out of the way. That's nice, and look at Rutana hitting that big damage right there. So it's four, the only da downside here is that it took us four Psychics, and we only have 10, so that's a problem. We do have some PP recovery moves. A Yen Mega, okay, so now we're definitely gonna want to switch out. Um, I don't even think, well, we had the Reflect up, so I feel semi-confident about switching to with U-Turn rather than just switching, but we could take like a pretty, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. We're just gonna switch straight into Ice here. No big deal. There's the, he's U-Turning. Oh, oh, he brings in a Happy. Will is dirty. Oh my gosh, he's got Togekiss and a Feraligator. Oh, that is, and it's a water type, which I, as I mentioned, is potentially dangerous to us. Um, we're gonna bring in Kimberly though, that's what we're gonna do because, oh, we could bring in, no, I think we're gonna throw the Intimidate on this thing. I'm not that concerned about just the water type. I guess it could have like Ice Fang or something, but that shouldn't be a problem. Aqua Tail, it's using Aqua Tail. Our hated, the move that like tore through, through, through our starter Pokemon. And it did do damage, but it was a crit. So there's that. Let's go for a Dragon Claw here. Oh, it's using Thrash. Oh gosh. So it's stuck thrashing now. I think we can knock it out with our Dragon Claw though. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh no, it had a little bit more. <gasps> okay, so now it's stuck. Um, we can indeed. We're just gonna max potion. We'll save the full restores. He's stuck using that and now he's confused. It's possible he'll use a full restore now is the thing that we have to be concerned about. But we're gonna Dragon Claw, no he doesn't, okay. Will he go back to the Yanmega? That's the question. He's going to an Ursa Ring, okay. Shouldn't be that bad. They can hit hard, but I don't know if we have a better option anywhere. The biggest thing we might have is Hammer Arm, and Hammer Arm will be resisted by our flying type. So we are in a pretty good spot in that regard. Um, let's just go Dragon Claw and see how we do. It has a bullseye right on its stomach, so we can just aim for that, rip its guts out, Dragon Claw. Oh, even with the scary face. Even with the scary face, we outspud, out 
fed the Earth's ring, but we did lose speed. We cannot forget. Oh, he has Arceus! No! Oh, it's bad. Okay, it's a normal type. Oh, it's not good. I don't like that one bit. We are gonna be slower. It is probably going to have like earth power and extreme speed and gravity and hyper voice, if I had to guess. Those are probably its moves. Hyper voice is obviously pretty solid. Woo, boy. Now, if he uses gravity, it will bring Kimberly to the ground and that will then allow um, Arceus to use Earth power. How dirty is Will using a Feraligator and an Arceus and a Toga Kiss? Like, wow, the nerve on this guy. Let's go for a fly. There's the hyper voice. Oh God. I think we should be able to take it, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Nope. Okay. So now he's definitely gonna miss. There's the extreme speed. Yeah, I told you, I called two of them. Maybe we'll just get lucky. Gosh, that is a... God, this is a strong Pokemon. We knew that though. We knew Arceus was strong. Now, it's it's typeless, right? It is normal type, which makes it bulky, but makes it... We don't have any fighting type attacks on the... Uh, I really... I thought Rock Climb was gonna be a fighting type attack. It's just normal. That would have been nice if it was, because then we could have just really taken advantage of that. Ugh, this just reminds me that we don't have Ace on the team right now like we did last time, so we do have to deal with that. Who has the highest special defense on the team? Let's do a quick summary check on that. Special defense, 141. So more, that's good to know. It might be worth switching. 141. 151, Rutana, even stronger. Um, okay, so definitely, I think Rutana might in fact be the one to go with because Rutan is so specially defensive and we can still just hit it with psychic and stuff. We can't hit it with ghost type attacks or anything, but we would also still dodge earth power unless it uses gravity. And setting up a reflect won't matter, so it's all a matter of just, um, we're gonna switch. The reflect does matter, I was wrong, because of that exact reason. So it, it can't, but you can see, even that didn't do very much. It might be worth setting up the reflect again. Oh gosh, we should be okay. Oh my gosh, that did so much more than I thought it was, than I thought it would. Like, that did a lot. We're gonna use another max potion here on Rutana. Because that was pretty gnarly. It does, woo, down to 125. So it does 70 points of damage. That is not cool. Let's go, Hyper Voice. So we'll know, oh gosh, so if it, okay, so we should live it, but man, it's scary. That's scary. That's a lot. That's really cutting it close. I we should live it is the thing. We sh we should be okay, barring like a crit or something crazy, which is very possible, as you know, as you know. Like we could just heal, right? We can just do it. We don't have to be that risky. We can just go use, right? Let's just why be crazy, hyper voice. Indeed. Okay. So you see that. No, 126. Okay, so it actually didn't. It only did 69 that time. We're gonna go Psychic. No, it is just wrecking us with the Hyper Voices, though. The leftovers are really helping, no doubt. All right, now Reflect wore off, so I don't like that. Now we gotta switch again, and we're gonna go to Ice. Okay. There's the Bug Buzz, it does nothing. It got a speed boost, but that's okay. We can just hit this thing with, oh, okay, so we have a defense drop. That's a bummer, but the Mega's definitely down, right? Again, some health back. Oh, Doug Trio. Oh gosh, I don't like that one bit. Um, oh no. Oh, this could be bad. It depends on whether this thing has Arena Trap, because sometimes Doug Trios do. And if it has Arena Trap, that's very bad news because it can hit us with Ground types. But sometimes they don't. And if they don't, then Markle should be a very good option here. <gasps> Thank goodness, that is scary. Because look, it would use like an Earthquake. If it had like Arena Trap, we would have just, we would have needed to, we probably would have needed to Fire Blast and hope for a straight up um, one hit KO from Ice there. As it were, it can Slash, we can Wing Attack, and that's game. I think that's game, right? That's their last Pokemon. The Doug Trio. Markle! Woo! Yeah! One down! Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling, but I said, man, he had some sneaky Pokemon and freaking Arceus. 
So that's not great. Uh, Rutana is dizzy. I'm a little dizzy too. Not gonna lie. All right, let's see. We're gonna definitely go full restores here. Use, well, do we have any other um, just straight up regular potions? We do not, we use them all. So here we go, ready, full restore, use. Uh, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. And if this was the, let's see, what do we have berries wise? Nothing that, um, I think we're probably okay with the amount of damage that's on ice and Markle at the moment. Don't let those be my famous last words, but I think we're okay. Um, because at least ice has leftovers. Uh, boy. Man, for Ralligator, Arceus. Goodness, you jerk. Togekiss, how dare you? That's me kicking him, I don't know if you can tell. Look, ready? Kick! Okay. Oh boy, all right, on to round two. This is gonna be Koga. His strongest thing should be a level 64. Typically, Toga leads with a skun tank, um, like the Mighty Noel. Uh, I doubt he made such a wise decision in the randomizer. We can only hope he doesn't. But based on how Will played, it wouldn't surprise me if he did. Man, I, that was... The good news is, something we can take away from that Will fight is that one of them had Arceus and we overcame it. It was not easy, but we did. And we learned its moves. Oh, I mean, we kind of knew its moves. I actually was running into some during the grinding right outside of Mount Silver, which got me reacquainted with the moveset it probably has, so that's good. <laughs> I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall soon see enough. See you soon enough. I read that right. All right, what's he got? Round two. Oh, that's a cool entrance he had with a little like whoosh in. Oh, it's a, it's a pineapple. He's got big pineapple. Oh goodness. So I think first and foremost, we're gonna take a turn to set up the reflect. He's gonna go for the try attack. We're gonna laugh it off. Next, we hit it for super effective damage as we U-turn into Big Kim for the intimidate. It goes for the try attack as well. It gets nothing. It is an embarrassment to its kind. We dragon claw it to death and there is fresh pineapple for everyone and roast duck. Oh, he's going chomp. He's going big chomp on us. Okay, okay. The good news is we have the reflect up, right? And it's ground and we're flying. So it can't use like dig or earthquake or something super scary because we'll dodge it. So we're just gonna go for the super effective dragon claw here and rely on the fact that we have a reflect he goes for the Dragon Rush, <gasps> and it was super effective. Oh gosh, okay, so the good news is though, he's probably gonna full restore, plus we were faster anyway. So what we're gonna do is Dragon Claw, and we're just gonna burn his full restore, and we Dragon Claw. Yeah, it's got, what does it have, leftovers? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, Cause what we're gonna do is Dragon Claw, and knock out the Chomp! A Bibberal! Okay. Um, so I think, I don't like that we're low on health. That's the only real thing I don't like in this situation. This is a water normal type. So I think we're probably pretty good at going to Markle here. Take down, oh wow, that was surprisingly strong. Jeeps, I don't like that one bit. Um, <clears throat> took some recoil. Is it worth going for the Thunder Wave? Yeah, let's go for it. Curse! Speed fell, attack rose, defense rose. I don't like that at all. That is scaring me a little bit. Let's see. Obviously, we can't use Surf. We could just go straight for the Outrage, but then we're stuck, right? So let's see how a wing attack does. Oh, not good at all. Okay. So, um, first we're going to do this. First, what we're gonna do is, I, I know it probably seems silly, but because we're gonna be stuck in the attack, take down. Oh, oh no! What was that? Are you joking? It cannot be! It cannot be! 
It was that. Are you? Are you? It cannot be. It cannot be. Not again. Not from another normal critical move from a paralyzed beaver. I cannot believe that just happened. That is no. Why? Why my dragon knights? Why my mighty dragon knights? No. No. No, not Markle. No, 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 no. On the takedown from a Bibarel. Are you, are you just, are you, uh, it's just, because yeah, uh, we, that was, that was ridiculous. We should, uh, and we healed. That was a full health takedown. I can't even believe that just happened. We're going to rip this thing to freaking shreds. Except apparently we're not. It has so much defense. I can't even believe it. And a Skarmory. Okay. So. Why? Oh. Why? Why do bad things happen to good dragons? I can't. I'm so upset about that. I can't even tell you. I cannot even express to you how unfair I feel like that was. We have been robbed. And what's worse is that we have three more fights after this that now we will be forced to do without Markle. That was that was that was pretty rough. That's I that like it just shouldn't have happened. Is the is the thing. It just shouldn't have happened. Like the, I just put so much time and effort into getting Markle evolved. Ugh. It's just, it feels so very unfair. This is a tough spot. Because Bastiodon is part rock, part steel. I think we got it. Oh, can't escape. Okay, that's bad. Wait, what did it take damage from? Oh, does it probably have a toxic core normally? I think we're gonna have to go for uh, the fire blast here. We need more oomph to take this down in one shot. The fact that it hurt itself is nice, but we need to be accurate. We cannot switch out. So let's go for it. Fire blast, ice, do it, do it. Oh! Ice, ice, baby! Yes! <clears throat> You've proven your worth. Have I, though? Have I, Koga? Because you just freaking. I, I am so. Oh, why, Mark? Oh! I should have just used Outrage, man. I don't even think it would, I don't think it would have killed it, is the thing. I don't think it would have killed it because it took those Dragon Claws so well. That was just, Bibberol, who? I mean, I, I don't even know. I'm gonna heal Ice all the way in honor of Markle. Oh my God. That was, that was pretty rough. You are not nice. How many psychics does Rutana have left? Four out of 10. Okay, so I think we're good for the next fight. Oh my gosh. That was truly, truly terrible. I'm so sorry, Markle. I have, I am not worthy of Dragonites, apparently. I'm just, I was given two chances and I have failed on both occasions. I'm sorry, Ace. I have let you down. Both times to a crit. <laughs> both times to a crit. It was paralyzed. I, 
I don't think I did any, I don't think that was a misplay, <laughs> you know? I don't. We were at full health. I just, Markle, are you ready? Not Markle, gosh, I'm sorry. Rutana nodded slowly. All right, round three. This is Bruno. His normal highest level is a 64 Machamp and or Lucario. He has two 64s, so double the ace, I guess. I guess his, his traditional ace is Machamp, so we'll say that's it. Not that it matters, it won't be Machamp this time. Probably. Ready, Jay. You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Classic Bruno. <laughs> Gallade! All right, sticking with the fighting types here. He's got a fighting psychic. We have got just um, psychic. So the U-turn is actually still gonna be good. I think, actually, the shadow ball should be good too. Will it? Will it? Will it? Let's reflect, first of all. Oh, what a nice move by us, am I right? He went for the protect, we went for the reflect. Uh, we, got a free, we got a free turn on that. So let's go for the shadow ball here. Oh, he's doing double protect? That is baloney. All right, we can't pull that off again. False swipe. That can't even kill me, dude. All right, um, shadow ball. Oh, he is just spamming out our reflect. Went for the faint. Okay, I don't think he can hurt us almost at all. To use full restore, we put the reflect back up. Now we shadow ball. Super effective, lower to special defense. That's fantastic. Uh, so the next Shadow Ball should do it if he doesn't protect, which I bet he does. He didn't, so this should do it. Bam! Well done, Rutana. Setting up those Reflex. Oh! You have a Luxray! How... How... Underhanded are these Elite Four? Like, you'd think... Wow, it's just... It's disrespectful in every... In every sense of the word. You went for the scary face? Well, I don't like that you went for the scary face, but I am at least... I'm gonna go for the dig, so hopefully... Oh. We did lose the Reflect, which is a bummer, but we got the knockout with Dig. It'd be great if Plant had Earthquake. I would really like that. A Lapras! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's bad. Because... <laughs> oh, it's bad. It is not good. This is a bad situation. This is a bad situation. Yes, it is. I do not like this. Oh man, Lapras is a really rough matchup here for us because we have got, like, it's it's exactly what we were afraid of. It's water ice and it's extremely bulky. Um, ice verse. We could conceivably bring in Lord Vanilla, who is also part water. And who could use the rocks. Um, we can't paralyze it because Markle's dead. Rutana can set up a reflect, and can really, but that doesn't really matter because I think Lapras, I would almost bet it goes for a Confuse, right? I would almost bet money that it's, that's what it's gonna do. I think we need to go for Lord Vanilla here. Hydro Pump, oh God. We survive it like a champion and then we rock slide it for the probably not one hit kill. The fact is, we took that, that's its best attack, and we took it really well, right? Um, let's go for the rock slide. We missed, no! We gained some health back, so there's that. Now we rock slide, we hit it for insane damage! Yes, oh, Lord Vanilla! Oh, clutch rock slide! Clutch rock slide! Hitmonchan! Don't like that. No, we don't. We're gonna go to Kimberly for the Wimberly. The only thing we need to be very, very careful of here with Kimberly. Actually, why even risk it, right? I was gonna say, we can go to Kimberly, but it could have Ice Punch, is the thing. And Ice Punch, well, you know what? We're gonna go here anyway, because if, even if it does, we have the Yachi Berry. It's gonna go for the close combat. It will do nothing. Plus, it gets the um, Intimidate from Kimberly. So now we're gonna fly. It's one, it does detect too early, and then we fly down. We rain death from the sky. Hilariously, 
Uh, Bruno typically has a level 61 Hitmonchan, so that is actually, uh, that was, I'm gonna say that was a cannon Hitmonchan. And a Golem! Oh, 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 is that so? Okay, so the obvious problem here is that um, he could use Explosion, and that would be bad. That would be very bad. Um, so if we could, if we can fly and avoid that, that would be great. We could try and bring in Rutana to set up the reflect again. That might be nice. Um, and then we could like juggle back to the intimidate. That might be smart. We could also just, not that he's definitely gonna do it, right? That's the thing. Um, it is a rock type as well, which we are weak to because of the flying type. So um, in that regard, maybe Lord Vanilla, what is your defense like? You are, your defense is pretty solid. Okay, so maybe you're the shift here because you can hit him with, that should do nothing, right? Right? It should have done nothing. What we're gonna do, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that too much. We're gonna go for this. The full restore, he's gonna stone edge us again. Man, that does a lot of damage. Not, not too scary. I think we can knock it out one shot with the waterfall. And we're faster. Yes! Got the golem down. All right, Lord Vanilla having a great fight here. And a Sun Flora, so. Sunflora is about as tame as we could hope for, <laughs> uh, but it is four times effective against Lord Vanilla, so we are going to switch out to Ice here. Pedal Dance should do nothing. We laugh it off and we lava them to win. Ice taking names. Ice taking names. There it is. 70, 6, 80 if you're winning. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. I will. I will. That was... Scurry. That was scary. I didn't like that. Um, everyone's everyone's looking pretty good. I am gonna heal you up a little bit, Lord. Lord V, just for safety. Um, man, he had the Hitmonchan. He had the natural Hitmonchan. That was interesting. Rutana nodded slowly. Yeah, Rutana is like, we got game face on. He had the Gallade. That was sneaky too. Oh boy, they've had some tough Pokemon. They've had some tough Pokemon. He had the he had the Luxray, didn't he? Disrespectful! Kick, kick, kick. We we're down to five Pokemon, so that's tough. Especially because like so far we've had a pretty good we've had a pretty good go of it. But we could not underestimate the fact that Lance is gonna be that is gonna be so much stronger than us in almost every way. Levels wise. They are gonna be very difficult to beat. So we have to consider that. We only have five Pokemon, Lance will have six, Karen will have six, and Karen will also uh, have pretty comparable Pokemon to us. Um, two level 64s. So that's that's the situation we find ourselves in right now. Oh man, as we, one, one more official Elite Four member to go. And we're in! It's a nice room, I thought I'd give her that. Got a little sparkles on the floor. Not as much stuff moving around. You know, it's not like floating cubes or anything, but all right, here we go. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. Jay, you're Jay. D look, again, you know who I am. We've fought before. I be, I am the champion. People, disrespect, man. I mean, the absolute arrogance. Weezy. Using a the force against us, I get it. I mean, it's not a bad strategy. Um, we're just gonna psychic it right to death. Just one shot, one kill from Rutana. That's fantastic. That's one down, five to go. All right, here we go. Yan Mega! All right, we don't like that, but we know what to do. It's possible it will U-turn, but uh, we're gonna go to ice. It bug buzzes, not a huge deal. We get some leftovers. Um, we're gonna go Lava Plume. Air Slash is dangerous. <laughs> No, it did not. No, it did not with the crit on ice. No. No, not ice. Ice the longest. No, our literal cannon. 
Our literal cannon thorn. Oh. Oh. This day extracts a heavy toll. We are down to four. This is bad news. This is very bad news, you guys. I don't know what we are going to do. Um, we're definitely going to get Kimberly right here. Maybe that was the move anyway. I mean, we should maybe we should have done this to throw the Intimidate and just hit it with a fly. But man, the Air Slash! Probably what we should have done. I cannot believe that, Tropius. Get out of here, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, we lost ice. No one will ever forgive me. Oh. Literal cannon for an arm. How dare you? I don't like it. We're gonna. I said I wanted to fight with plant. Doesn't affect plant, you jerk. Oh. Oh! Storm. What? What damage was that? We resist grass. I guess it's neutral because we also ground is weak to grass, but still. That is bananas damage. Okay, so we definitely don't want to throw in old vanilla. We're gonna bring in Rutana. Thank you very much. Wood hammer. Yeah, we're gonna heal some of that right on back. And then we're just gonna go ahead and what we're gonna do, I think, is I got partial I'm semi deter I think I it might not be a bad idea to set up the reflect again based on how things are going. I don't think it can knock us out with anything it's got going. Woodhammer. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? No, 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 no. What, what, it, what? That was, we set up the reflect. We set up the reflect. Oh, it's very bad. This is, things are going south quickly, you guys. This is bad. This is bad. We sent out Manectric. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I, this is, we have, oh no. It doesn't affect us. Oh, things are bad. Things are bad. Things hurt. Things hurt. There's no way we're gonna be able to beat Lance. There's no friggin' way. Now we're burned. No. Now we're burned. Oh gosh, come on. We can do it. You use a full restore. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Heat wave. Dragon rush was good. We should be able to dragon claw for the win. Oh my gosh. What is happening? The, the critical air slash. And then the wood hammer crits through our reflect. Like. I can't, I. How are we going to beat frickin' Lance? This is... <clears throat> like, what are we gonna do? We've barely got... We have three Pokemon. <clears throat> All of whom are weaker than Lance's weakest Pokemon. Look at this. This has been... I cannot even... How are we going to beat Red? We're going to have to bring Ace back. Oh my gosh. This is insanity in the membranity, you guys. Uh, I don't... I don't... 
That what's so frustrating is that I don't feel like I'm making misplays. Like maybe we should have switched to Kimberly there instead of Ice, but I don't think Ice was a bad choice. Like Ice is strong against Bug, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have. Maybe that was. It was a crit. That's the thing. It was a crit. Lava Plume definitely would have knocked it out. It should not have killed us. Oh my gosh. I do not feel good about our fight with Lance here. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. We have three heroic champions left. I've been waiting for you. Jay! I knew that you... With your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. I hope you're referring to me as the champion. Because I am. Oh, another Ursa Ring. Okay, well, we cut its attack. That's good. That makes it significantly... Um... Speaker. Dragon Claw. Thrash. Oh god, that did damage. Which one? No. Okay, that's. That's really a dangerous amount of damage right there. He's stuck using Thrash. Um. I don't think it'll kill us. I mean, it won't. And Fly might kill it. Oh boy. Oh God. Okay, so he's almost definitely gonna full restore and so are we, so. Opening volleys are fired. Yeah, he full restores, we full restores. Uh, so we're gonna fly first this time. That way if he uses thrash, we'll only get hit by it once. But I guess now maybe he's not stuck in it. Oh, he is, okay. But it looks like it did not do as much damage. We're gonna fly again to dodge it. Thrash again. Now he's confused again. All right. Same pattern. We cannot lose Kimberly here. Hurt itself in its confusion. It's down. It's down. It's confused itself. It. We healed. It died. Okay. Now, the last time we were able to use Rutana effectively against this sort of nonsense. The unfortunate thing here is that Weezing has Levitate, which means it's immune to ground type attack, so we can't switch to plant. I mean, we can switch to plant, but plant won't be as effective as it should be, um, as he should be. The other downside is that Weezing is really physically defensive and all of our remaining Pokemon have really physically... So if we get like, yeah, this is, this is kind of what I was worried about, is that we have like a big physical wall to deal with um, because we don't really have any special attacks left at all. Uh, everything is physical. So physical walls are bad news for us at the moment. We're going to have to go for... <coughs> oh boy, we're going to go for a dragon ball here to see what we do. See, that was really bad. Um, sludge bomb. Okay, so we should knock it out here. And then two down. Now, this is a fairly okay scenario because cross chop, we should be pretty strong against that. We can just fly. Scary face, go fly. This should just kill it, I think. Oh, this is his big ace too. That's the scary thing. Okay, what I don't like about that is that we are now slower. Even so, we should be able to just fly and kill it though. Even if he cross chops us again, it shouldn't make a big difference. Use dynamic punch, that's scary. Cross chop. He missed, so that's good for us. We are just slower in general, though. That's the other big thing to remember. Nine tails, we do resist because we are um, 
Dragon, we are probably slower. I bet it uses Confuse Ray because Ninetales loves Confuse Ray and the uh, computer loves to use it. So, okay, it'd be, it's a pretty good switch to, um, Lord Vanilla here, but because we're rock and water are good against nine tails, but I'm afraid it's going to use Confused Ray, so I want to be able to switch in case it does. So we're just going to Dragon Claw it right here. It used Quick Attack, okay. I want to be able to switch. Oh god, we're about to run out of Dragon Claws. Um, let's go for the fly. Save guard. Okay. In that case, this is probably a good move to use because it's... Oh, see, it went for the Confused Ray indeed. And we missed, so that's a bummer. Now we're in a tough spot because... Um, I want to use Fly. Yeah. Quick attack. Okay, so this is good because we can just like wait out. It's not that it matters about the safeguard because we can't really do many status effects to them anymore. Fion! He has a mythical Pokemon. That's fun. Um, I mean, it's not fun. I don't like it. <coughs> but... Does Fion... Is Fion part Psychic or just Water? I think it's just Water. Um, well, oh no, what'd I do? I didn't mean to attack. It hit underwater. We flew high. Actually, this is gonna work out. It's gonna miss and we're gonna fly. What I meant to do was this. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. So we can't dodge it this time because It's faster, but it's not really a problem. Um, we do need to not use fly because then it could hit us and then before we go, it could dive. So we don't want to use fly. Um, do we want to use our last dragon claw? I guess so. We're going to get hit by that. It's going to do nothing. Hopefully this just kills it. Not quite. Okay. So let's see. Now, let's go for a crunch. Full restore, uh-oh, I don't like that. Now we go for a fly, and it's gonna dive, and we go up, and it misses, and we fly high, we rain death in the sky. Now we have to go, I'm gonna say strength here. It's gonna miss again, yeah. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, come on, come on. All right, crunch. Stop using that, it's so annoying, oh no. Good strength. That's good strength. He's wearing us down with his dives. We will not stand for it. We heal. It hides again. We strength again. We are strong. Kimberly, you are strong. Yes. Kimberly for the Wimberly. A sun flora. This is what you bring to fight the mighty. Kimberly! For the Wimberly! Oh. Ah! And in the end. In the end! There was just Kimberly. We didn't even switch. Kimberly put the team on her back and wrecked all of Lance's Pokemon by herself. That's how angry Kim was. <laughs> oh, goodness. You have become truly powerful, Jay. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. This is frustrating. I don't know if you can tell what's happening here, but uh, Dialga is having a lovely little blackout. Oh no, it's all over. If you run so slow, this is a really bad time for the blackouts though. Oh, because they believe, they persevered. Oh no, let's interview the brand new champion. Jay, could you come with me? Oh no, this is so bad. I can't like even save. Oh no. Dialga's like stealing our... 
Thunder! Will it pop up here? Okay, here we go. All right. Even Dialga can't stop the champion's parade. All right, well, even though we lost literally half of our Pokemon, we... Gosh, it's so painful. They are still Hall of Famers. They are still Hall of Famers. Oh my gosh, Ice is gone and Rutana is gone. No, Sprout Tower! <laughs> it's so long ago. <sighs> We're not worthy of you, Markle. We weren't worthy. Lord Vanilla, you did some work. You got some good kills in. And plant. And plant. Well done, plant. There they are. The champions! So mad. I cannot believe those deaths, though. We worked and trained so hard. So hard. And now, there's but one challenger remaining. And his name is Red. I'm not even, not even sure we should bring on new teammates. You know, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure we shouldn't just say, this is the team. These three against the world. Kabutops, Garchomp, Salamence. Who? What else do we need? Huh? Huh? That was really painful, you guys. That sucked. That was not... I'm... <sighs> Please leave your condolences down below for Ice and Rutana and Markle. They got, they took some really, really unfortunate crits. I mean, through reflex, post heals, with type advantages. I mean, they really snuck in some dastardly kills on us. Very not cool. I mean, we have other Pokemon we can like switch to potentially to go fight Red. Still. Still! No good. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like where we're at. Anyway, thank you guys for waiting so long for this particular episode to come out. Thank you for joining us through the entire journey so far. I am, I am just so upset <laughs> with the loss of this Pokemon. This is really unfortunate. But you guys have stuck with us for the entire journey. We have one big fight left. So you're gonna have to grind up to it again. It's a real problem. But, uh, gosh, that's the situation we're in. That's the situation we're in. This is the danger of the Nuzlocke. And were it just about beating the Elite Four, we'd have done it. We'd have lost some friends, but we'd have done it. But now, because Soul Silver is insane, we still have to go fight Red. And uh, that's what's going to happen in the next episode. And until then, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you there. Bye! Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Ballantyne, Dana Guest, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Ferulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and Z. 
0412. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Spork.